The next day, Master Shurfu enters Po's room, relieved to find it empty. However, their relief is short-lived as they discover Po diligently practicing Kung Fu. Keen to accelerate Po's departure, Master Shurfu directs his students to engage in matches with him. Each student poses a tough challenge, pushing Po to his limits. Not to be outdone, Master Shurfu himself contributes, delivering a powerful demonstration of Kung Fu that includes tossing Po down an unending flight of stairs. Viper and Mantis lend a helping hand to Po, utilizing acupuncture techniques to aid in his recovery. As they work on him, they share insights about Master Shurfu's past. They reveal that Shurfu was once kind and cheerful, and smiled more often. Tigress picks up the narrative, recounting how Master Shurfu discovered Tai Lung as a baby left on the Jade Palace doorstep. Shurfu took him in, raising and teaching him Kung Fu as if he were his own son. Growing older and more skilled, Tai Lung believed himself worthy of the Dragon Scroll, 